in essence, sometimes we struggle to boost our Iman because of the fast pace of life. The ongoing day-to-day tasks, work, family, responsibility, kids, neighbors, things, I need to do this, bills, cars, whatever. And this is life. No one can escape this. Even the Sahaba, they used to say to each other, come, let's sit down and remember Allah for an hour. Not literally an hour, but in the sense, let's come, as I say, come for five minutes. It's not really five minutes, but in other words, come for a break. Let's just come, sit, remember Allah, and renew our Iman. In other words, take a time out. Let's take a break. The Prophet ﷺ used to do this. Before prophethood, where did he used to do it? When he was shifted. Mm, yes, for us it could be definitely shepherding. But for them, shepherding was like us going to work these days. Shepherding for them is normal. But for us now, shepherding is like relaxing time. In where? In the cave. In Ghar Hira. Ghar Hira is an amazing place. It's very small. Maybe as much as if you put two of these chairs together, that's how big the actual cave is. You can fit one person making sujood. And one person just standing up, like you can't stand up tall in the cave. Very small. But if you look at the location, away from Mecca, away from the hustle and bustle, not only far away in distance, but up high. It takes about an hour just to climb up. But when you're there, it's amazing. You're away from everything. Physically, which in turn, mentally and spiritually, disconnects you from everything. I don't want to go back to, I don't even want to go near the office. I don't even want to go near school. I don't even want to go near whatever it might be. Physically being away from something gives you that way, gives you that chance that I'm disconnected. I'll give you another example. Let's look at this in a non-physical way. Sometimes if I leave the house and I'm just going for a short trip and I forget to take my phone, so Allah decreed that my phone stayed there. Yalla, keep going. That five minute trip or the ten minute trip is the best ten minute trip I can imagine. Because you know, no one can call you. No one can message you. You don't have to do that. No, it's disconnected. And why do people get all the good ideas when they're in the shower? Because they know no one, no one can come call them and say, Oh, we need your help, we need you to do this. So, Allah, they're in the shower, they're stuck. All the good ideas start coming out. Because you're in a state of mind, you're disconnected, you can now relax. Your brain can now think. The Prophet used to go to Ghar Hira before prophethood. After prophethood, what was his time out? It used to last for 10 days, or 10 nights actually, out to for the masjid. He used to go to the masjid and not come out for 10 days. That was his time out. It's important for us to take a time out. Time out is not just for kids. And in fact, I actually hate the fact that, that's something they refer to when they get in trouble. No, time out shouldn't be when you get in trouble. Time out is to do, to stay healthy. In fact, if you want to punish kids, don't send them to time out. Time out should be something that they should enjoy. And we should grow up enjoying. And if you didn't enjoy it when you were a kid, you definitely enjoy it as an adult. But to take this time out is very important. For our Iman. For ourselves. For every part of our health, our physical health, our spiritual health, our emotional health, our mental health, all of these. 
and also for our connection with Allah. Sometimes we know Allah is always there. But being distracted, I'm not talking about just gadgets, distracted in many things, doesn't allow us to fully connect with Allah. And you know when we're always stuck between four concrete walls or whatever, jiprock, computers and digital and this and whatever and vehicles and... Our bodies, what are they made from? Majority of our body is made from what? Water. And the rest of it is made from what? Dirt. Nature. Creation. Creation. The closer we are to it, the more tranquil we feel. The further we're away from it, the more anxious we feel. It's not complex, it's not science, it's just simple. And all of these have an impact. When we get so caught up dealing with people, we get distracted from dealing with Allah. And sometimes dealing with people, you deal with good people, you deal with bad people, you deal with hard people, you deal with soft people, you deal with people that complain and people that nag, and people that give you good news and people that give you bad news. And it's just constant, 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 constant attacks on the heart. Allah says in the Quran, isn't it time that the heart becomes soft with the remembrance of Allah? And what he has revealed from the truth. Isn't it time? It's time for a break. It's time out. Have mercy on yourselves. And Allah will have mercy on you. Taking a time out. Being close to nature. Allows you to reconnect. In fact, you know, when, when you go to a place that's luxury or even when you go to uh, people, you go to a therapist or anything like this, or when you go to clinics, what's generally the smell and the sounds that they have in these places, or even hotel lobbies, like you're hearing them in hotel lobbies? Sounds of water, sounds of waves, sounds of birds, sounds of trees. The senses, what you smell, what you hear, what you see, also has an impact on the heart. If you see something haram, does it not put a dot on your heart? So what if you see something that's halal and something that reminds you of Allah? It cleans the heart, yeah? So it's not just the theoretical, it's not just the theoretical stuff, but the physical and all the senses are also very important. I remember one time, there was once me and a brother, we were organizing a dawah event, and we tried, we, we just had to make some simple decisions, take some simple decisions for bookings or whatever it was, and we just couldn't. Three weeks. Three weeks. Every single day, we just, our brain just, couldn't connect until one time during the day, I think we prayed Dora, we prayed Asr, and I said, Lock up, let's go. I said, Where are we going? I said, Just come. About maybe 15, 10 minutes from here, there's a creek that's away from the main roads. And it's deep and it has running water and ducks and big trees and smell oxygen, beautiful. So let's go there and we go for a walk. We went there and we started walking and discussing. In less than 10 minutes, the entire event was organized. We knew exactly what we wanted to do. Everything was done, organized, tick, tick, tick within 10 minutes. That change of environment and that change of atmosphere and that change of mindset and when the body is moving and you're connected with nature, this has an impact on your email. 
this has an impact on your email. Everyone has their special spot. Some might like brightness. Some might like darkness. Some might like places where there's lots of people and they just sit in the corner. And some might not like any people at all. Some might like to go to a masjid. Some might like to go to a park. Some might like to go anywhere. And some might like to be just in a corner of their home. They have a special corner. They have a special mihrab. Whatever it is you know, if you feel connected with Allah in that spot, be in that spot. If not, change it. As one of the scholars, he said, if nothing changes, nothing changes. If nothing changes in your life, nothing changes. If you want something to change, you need to change something. Change your environment, you feel your heart revive, you feel your mind revive. 